Good morning everyone and welcome back to another plan with me. This is Misty with Happy Planning with Misty and I am going to be setting up a week in my B6thology and I'll <clears throat> show you so far what I've got. Um, let's get over here. So I'm needing to set up I think this first full week in June so the 3rd through the 9th. And I am going to use this Shine Sticker Studio <clears throat> book that I got, of course, in a D stash. If you're new here, you're going to hear that word often because I love shopping D stashes. This um, cover that I got uh, from One Ton in a Million was a D stash. This is in a D stash. Um, a girl was selling several of these books. I don't know if you can still buy these at Michael's, but you could, you used to could find these at Michael's and um, Hobby Lobby, but I don't know if they still make these or not. But anyway, I, um, most of my planning is back planning. Um, very little of it is forward planning because my days are, they laugh at me if I try to uh, forward plan. But I'll <clears throat> try to get you caught up on what's been going on around here. Because it's been a little while since I recorded and I'll tell you why. But anyway, I wanted to show you the um, book that I was going to be using. And um, it's got, from, from what I can tell, I won't have to pull anything else, I don't think. It has got um, plenty of washi and washi strips and so i'm gonna keep going a day to a page because i like um being able to write down my scripture verse like this uh for the day and then i just have a little bit of to-dos laid out for the week so anyway i hope you guys are doing good i hope y'all all had a wonderful fourth of july and so um, first I'm going to start with some washi. Now these are like <clears throat> a cardboard like a uh, sticker. It's a, it's like they were printed or cut, even though it's a sticker paper, they're thicker than just, you can't just rip them like washi is what I'm getting at. Like with the uh, uh, washi cards, you're going to have to cut them if you find you some. But I'm going to use this for my first beginning pages right here. And um, try to catch y'all up on where I've been and what's been going on. So, I think the last time I done a video, I was telling you guys that, um, you know, I was going to have... My 4th of July sale, everything was 25% off. And, um, you know, if you wanted to, to go shop. Um, and that started on a Thursday, Friday, and then ended Saturday. Today is Monday for me. So... Um, I don't normally go this long without doing a video, but we have a little farm, and my goats decided July the 1st was when they were going to start having their babies, and I have three female goats that are pregnant, and they started this on the 3rd, so my first baby was born July 3rd. And um, I told Marshall, I said, my goodness, she is still, she only had that one baby. And I was like, my goodness, she's still so big. Um, it just makes me think she's not done. But that whole day we kept going down like every three hours and checking, there was no more babies. I was like, that is so crazy. Well, then um, the next day, my other goat had a baby. And, um, 
No, it wasn't the next day. It was the 5th. Um, so not only, so no babies on July 4th. So we had my mom and dad over July 4th. Um, and we done barbecue sandwiches and, um, my husband's birthday, Marshall, his birthday is the 5th. And it's a Friday and he's in construction and he still needed to go work. So since he wasn't going to be off on his birthday, we were like, okay, we'll just, you know, celebrate nothing big. Just my mom and dad. Me, Marshall, Maddie. We'll just celebrate, though, on the 4th. We'll get Mom and Dad over, and one of the desserts I fix in the summer is called Peach Delight, and um, Marshall loves it, and he said, that's what I want for my birthday. Um, so, he was like, don't buy me anything, just do, um, just fix that for me. So, I fixed two of them, and I said, um, mom and dad, would y'all like to come? And they were like, yeah, sure. Okay, so I'm not seeing a next week. We can make us one easy or this week. But let me just make sure I'm not overlooking it, y'all. Um, there's my days of the week. Oh, we'll have to pull in numbers. There's not numbers in this. Okay. There's an important, and don't forget, to buy and remember. To do's. And remember. So, yeah, I'm not seeing a next week. Um, so, I'll just make me a next week, and I'll just write next week on this. I'm going to scoot y'all down just a little bit. Maybe I won't forget to. We'll see y'all. Let me get my tweezers. Okay. So do I want that in the middle? I think I'm just going to be. I'm not going to change nothing up. I'm just going to go. Right here. I probably should have wrote this week, shouldn't I? Oh, well. That'll work. And then, um, I need my meal. Do they, did did y'all see a tracker for meals? Okay, yes. Here's a Monday through Sunday. And here's a little box that says, or don't say anything. It's just got a spoon and fork, but we can write meals on here Okay. All right, then I need tracker. This here. All right, let me see. I don't know if both of them can fit. Okay, so we might not do the trackers right there. We might move them over. Let's go to the top here. We'll do that there. I think I'm going to do this little thing to just separate it a little bit. And then we'll do this one here. Okay. 
let's see, can I do a remember? Let's try that. If I can get it. I remember here. And then we've got this box here that's got three little checklists in it. And we can put that down here. Okay. And then I had some of this washi left over. So... Just run that right there. Okay. So let's see. What our big boxes are. And how many I've got. Um. This one says, I have a plan, and there is room to write on there in case um, I need to add something to that week. So let's put that one down right here. This, I have a plan. Let's see, I had another little strip of this washing left over. So let's put that there just to separate it a smidgen. I will get back to my story, y'all. Promise. Oh, that come over just a little bit. Alright, so there's that. Okay, so then we're going to start on the days of the week. And let me find my ever faithful numbers book, um, if I can find it. Y'all, everything is everywhere. Okay, this is the one I was talking about. Let's see how, there's a bunch of silver in here, so let's see if I've got any silver numbers. If not, I can definitely go with um, pink or that blue, I think. Let me see where my days of the week. Are they each different colors? Yeah, they're all rainbow. So, all right, let me just make sure there's no silver. And then I'll come back. I cannot remember. Alright, I don't think I've got any silver in here. I think that was all my numbers. Okay, so go back to the color. I would use these colored ones if these colors were not so dark, but that's darker than what these. So I think I'll just go with these blue ones. Let me just do that. Oh, let's see how we can make this look. Okay, so. Um. The next baby was born on the 5th. So I had my first baby on the 3rd. Well, what was so weird is that I don't think I knew goats could do this. But um, because this is just our second time of having babies. So we are still learning how to take care of babies. We had last time like six or seven bottle babies because these goats didn't want nothing to do um with their babies 
And so, um, me and Marshall, we've got the milk, we've got the bottles, we already know what might happen. We're hoping that this next round, um, it won't be like that for these mamas since they've already been pregnant one time. So, we um, just keep going down there because it is so hot here in Alabama. I don't know if everybody is experiencing unhealthy hot weather, but it is like unreal. Um, the humidity is 100% outside today. The high is 97. And you cannot walk outside without, I mean, whether you are someone that sweats or not, you ain't got no choice but to start beating up uh, with sweat. It is just that choking outside. When you breathe in, it is hot air. The wind that blows is hot. It is not cool. And so, um, we have been making sure there's plenty of water down there. The goats have plenty of shade. And we've been going down like every two or three hours checking on them. Okay, so that mama goat had that one baby. And that crazy goat, you know, I told Marshall, I don't think that goat's through. But since she didn't have no more that day, I didn't think no more about it. That crazy goat ended up having another baby two days later. But because for some reason that goat came later or whatever, it wouldn't have nothing to do with it. Now, me and Marshall didn't realize that that's what was going on because, you know, they're little and it's hot. And so they lay around in the grass. Now, it was in a shaded area under trees. Um, we've even got um, a lean-to for them to get under and that's where they went and had their baby and so when the babies were just laying in the grass you know we didn't think nothing about it well um, Friday afternoon it was fisting to start storming um, and that's just the way the weather is around here um, it's pop-up showers, and it's from, um, that's just our summer pattern around here. Um, it'll be sun shining, nothing on the radar, and then all of a sudden, you've got rain overhead, and you're like, where did that come from? And so, in fact, it started raining, but it felt good. We didn't care. We was just out checking on all the little ones, and... We noticed that one was real weak acting. So we picked it up and took it over closer to the mama and she started headbutting it. I was like, now look at here. And um, we went and looked in on the other baby that had been born earlier that day by another goat. And um, it was doing good and lo and behold there was Marshall looked out across the pasture and he said, I wonder what that is down there um, or over there because it was like this white hunk. So we thought it was like, we lived right beside the highway, so we thought it was like trash that had blown in off the road. And, you know, goats will try to eat anything, so we try to make sure we keep all that picked up. And um, it was a white baby goat. And... um you could tell it was real weak and new and I told Marshall I said I don't think we need to leave these out here I think we're gonna have to take these up to the house and so we did and um, we cut, brought them in the house we've got a little cage in one of the rooms um, I put blankets down and laid them down on it I went and got the milk um, that all the other babies lived off of. And um, they were just too weak to even suck the little bottle. So, by George, I was going to get them babies some food one way or another. So, I had a syringe. And I was feeding them. 
buy that syringe a little at a time and um, they started then like perking up and crying and standing up and using the bathroom so I was like okay um, there's don't seem to be any neurological damage everything's you know being told what to do and is responding so and this was in the afternoon so it was you know already in at night The next morning when we got up, no, let me go back. The, there was one of the babies where the mama had had it two days apart. It was doing good, standing up, doing the best. It was a little white one that was not doing the best. And later on that night, um, it passed away. So then the next morning, he, the little black and white one was still standing up and, um, hollering and it was able to suck from the bottle and that was on Saturday so we lost one Friday night the same day it was born and then Saturday um, we needed to go to my mother-in-law's her grass needed cutting um, sh she is not in good health and so um, I told my husband I would go with him Maddie was here at the house she was keeping an eye on the baby goat, feeding it and everything. Before we could get back, she was calling. Mama, I think it's died in my arms, and she is squalling, just a crying. And um, I said, baby, we're almost home. Um, just, you know, sit with it till Mama can get there. We're just, you know, right outside town. We'll be there in just a second. And, um we got here and it was still breathing it was um so i was looking at it and it was just like so weak and everything and i said marshall i wonder if this these babies since they were not fed by the mom which we had had babies like that already um the last go around um but i said marshall with it being so hot outside I'm wondering if their sugar has bottomed out on them with the way they were acting. And I was, I didn't, there wasn't a vet open, number one. The second thing, the nearest um, like tractor supply pet store because I needed dextrose is what I needed in a shot. Um, we've got medicine in the refrigerator, you know, for older um, goats. We give goats shots all the time. So giving them a shot was not shocking me or anything like that. But I couldn't get to... Um, anywhere fast enough. Because it was like 20 minutes no matter which way I went. And this goat didn't have 20 minutes. So I said, Marshall, there is some packets of honey. From where um, he eats grits. But he likes honey or jelly in his grits. And um, we, I just ripped that whole thing off. So I um, told him. I said, grab those honey packets. I said, squeeze some honey on my fingers. And I started rubbing the gums of that baby goat and its tongue with that honey. Well, in like 20 minutes, um, I had done it like, um, I was waiting 15 minutes in between each time I rubbed it down. Um, and it's, eyes started clearing up and it's, um, when I would put uh, the syringe in its mouth to drip a little bit of milk in there, it was now, you know, um, to where I would have to open its mouth for it. It was so weak. Um, now there was like resistance. I was like, Marshall, I think that's what it is. I think their glucose has bottomed out. And of course, me being diabetic, that was just killing me that I didn't think of that sooner with that first baby goat. But 
Um, I'm just not used to what it looks like. And I was tearing up telling Marshall, I can't believe I didn't think of this to begin with. And he was like, baby, it's okay. This We're not used to this. And So anyway, it got to where um, I had done it a total of maybe three times. Giving it that glucose, like every, or that honey on its gums, like every 15 minutes. And I had gotten three syringes of milk within an hour down it and those syringes were three mls a piece it was swallowing you know it and i was doing it just a little bit at a time um because i didn't want to overwhelm it and it was hollering out and i was holding it in my arms and had it wrapped up in blankets to keep it warm and y'all all of a sudden it just stretched out all its legs and it died right in my arms it was horrible so the reason all this has been put on hold because I've been emotionally just shot because trying to give those babies a fighting chance and yeah that was it was rough okay so I think usually the last few times I have um, Plan down the side and wrote my scripture. You know, like come like this. But I think I'm going to divide the page with this washi. This is from Simply Gilded also. That top washi I just used was from Simply Gilded. Then I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to write my scripture down here. And... have my to-dos and stuff for the day up there. So what number did I do that at? 15. So I'm dividing at 15. So I had already started working on my orders and thank you guys so much that took time to order from my shop. I don't want anybody to ever feel obligated to order from me because this is something I do for fun um, I enjoy playing with stickers um, I enjoy the creative side of making stickers and if other people like what I come up with and want them then they're available but um, it's not my main source of income and so I don't want y'all to ever feel um, obligated to buy from me but it sure makes me smile whenever uh, people can buy and I know that um, times are hard right now if where you live if the cost of stuff is as high as it is here in Alabama um, yeah stickers is the last thing you need to be buying if your family is struggling um, to make ends meet. Um, that's just my personal opinion now. Don't get offended by me. But I just want you to put your family first, not me. We're okay. Um, but anyway, um, what, where was I going with all that? What did I want to tell y'all? Oh, on Friday was when um, I had started working on my orders that were coming in and um, I had to stop in the middle of I got them I got the order all printed off but then I was starting to cut it and I had to stop midstream um, because that's when the goats started dropping their babies and I was like now look at here I had plans for today so for those that did order just know as soon as I get through with this video I'm starting back on the orders let's see I think I'm gonna do I want to use one of these to do's and one of these small boxes right here and I think I'm just gonna write 
the main to do that I'm going to do for each day in this box. So like if my main focus is going to be laundry this day, that's what I'm going to write there. Then over here, I can do like I don't forget and I, I probably can alternate between the don't forget the important and I think there was some remember so let's see if I done like a don't forget And maybe one of these boxes like this. Um, and I do on the first uh, have Maddie's art bill that I need to pay. So there is um, a bill due, so I can use that. And let me go back to these. Well, there's just a few of those smaller blank boxes. Um, Let's see if I can write. So if I do this bill due, okay, this is not straight. Let me straighten it up just a little bit. With these um, stickers being this thick, they are, if you grab them pretty quick, you can peel them up. You just, of course, have to be gentle because the paper is so thin it'll rip. Okay, I can put art class so we need to pay the art class and um, I can put like some icon or something right there to do that okay so let's go on to Tuesday make sure y'all can see oh so yeah anyway um, it's been emotionally draining um, it has been nice because um, Marshall has worked early in the mornings because it's so hot and they do construction and you don't want to be putting on a metal roof in the middle of this heat um, some of his guys are already just working to dinner time or um, getting sick on the job because they're just so hot and they've got big utility fans blowing they've got um, of course water on the job it's just you know it's just crazy um, so let's go back with let's do a remember this time let me see if I can take these pages are these Am I going to just tear everything up? Let's 
see if I can rip all these out. I learned this from one of the girls I watched. Harley would be so proud of me tearing these out and because bending this book back and trying to decide what I'm going to use is aggravating. Okay, let me just flip through the pages. Okay. Okay, so now I need, let me go back to that remember. Take this remember. And didn't I go? Remember. And then it was a bigger box. Let's do this one. And then I think I'll do this one. There needs to be something in between there though. Uh let's see. Let's use this PC part I had left over. And we'll put it right here. I'm starting to get that hump in my planner to where it's hard to write. So anyway, as soon as I get through with this, I'm going to upload it, or, yeah, upload it. Um, that's got a lot of blue in that header, so let's look for a bigger box that don't have blue, as much blue. We'll go with this one. This one's got some yellow in it. Okay, that, and then we're going to get our to-do. So, yeah, I'm going to get this uploaded so y'all can see this, and I'll try to record some more um, after I've got some of these orders. done so if there's another couple of days before you see something else don't don't give up on me I'm coming back I'm just trying to get everything and I've still got one more goat that's pregnant that is due any minute so Lord help me it's no telling um, Let's see, I think I'm going to do a to buy because by Wednesday we'll be looking for groceries. So I'm going to put a to buy right there. And let's do a bigger box up underneath there. And let's see, we can do like a heart. And write something out beside there that comes to mind and let's do a little divider here and then this box okay So, how are y'all doing? Did y'all have a good fourth? Um, we had places all around us shooting off fireworks, but we did not shoot off fireworks. We went to bed. We, to be just in, well, let me just get real honest here with y'all. I am 46. I feel 70, y'all. I even act 70. I shouldn't be acting this old and reacting this way, but... One thing that I think my body's also getting used to is the new migraine medicine that I started almost a week ago. 
and nausea is one of the top things that of course you get well I'll just be honest you look at any side effects with any um, drug and you're gonna back out of taking it because you know you're by the fourth side effect you're dying but um, one of the first things listed is nausea and the second thing listed with this new migraine medicine is um, like real uh, give out lethargic washed out feeling and buddy I am batting a hundred on that one and um, I'm gonna and just give out y'all and it's telling on me so I'm trying hoping that let's say Tuesday tomorrow I will have been on it a week and so I'm hoping it will um, start to die down soon. Um, I do go see my regular um, family doctor Thursday. Um, so I'm just going to mention it to her and, you know, make sure everything's good. Um, nothing, you know, nothing abnormal. Um, she thinks everything is still happening good. So let's see, where's some more full boxes? Alright, by Friday, I might need this box that's got some room to write. So I've got that box. And then I go back to my to-do headers. And what are these skinny boxes here? And then do this, don't forget. This bigger box here. Let's do a little bit of this divide and washi. All right, and then let's see, we might just use this rainbow flag right here and then I can write out something that I need and then we'll just put one of these skinnier boxes down here to finish it off like that okay two more days So let's go with um, the weekend banner. I don't want to forget to use that because it is cute, cute, cute. Look at that. That turned out so cute. And on Friday also, I need to remember to pay the trash bill because it is the beginning of the month and that's when that's due um i didn't know if we had like a little trash icon 
I know we've got um, there's a little trash icon so since I've already put the boxes down let me just put that on there and put trash trash bill on there okay now let's go on to Saturday and Saturday is when I do all my prep work so I don't have to do nothing on Sunday so I need to fill my car up with gas so I need to make sure I've got a box for that and that's gonna be Let's use this big box. There. And then go back to this to do. Let's see where some of my skinnier strips let's see is that the only skinny strip I got left no here's one okay so this is going to be for the main to do that I have in the house whatever I focus on um, and I'm going to go ahead and put two because like I said I do a lot on Saturday prepping for Sunday because I do as little as possible on Sunday so let me do a remember over here and then we've got that so I need to grocery shop where's these little icons at again Okay, so here's a car. So I need to fill up car. Okay, fill up car, and then I need to buy groceries for Sunday. Um, here's a grocery cart. So we're going to do buy Sunday dinner. Okay. Okay, let's see now. Saturday is probably also when I'm going to do some planning in my planner. Um, I've got one more little thing here. see I might want to use one of these though these little flags and then I can put well I do want to use it but it's not gonna fit there unless I move this up let me see y'all if I can do this without ripping everything apart And 
and then I can just put planner time okay so we got that so that's the main things okay then we've got Sunday which if y'all have been here any length of time you know my Sundays are um, easy easy um, so let's see here We might do some. Layering for Sunday. So let's do that. And then we'll do this. And then I'll just use this last to do up here since I didn't really do the same layout and we'll use this Just one more. Let's do this. So I'm going to put nap time on this one. And then lunch. And then worship, service at 10.30. And then we do have another service at night um, that starts at 5. But we'll just do that for now. Okay, y'all. Plenty of stickers left over to still use through my week when I am writing down um, stuff that happens through the week so those little books are definitely handy um, if you can find some like I said still at Hobby Lobby or Michaels I don't know if they're still selling them or not or if you can find them on a D stash grab them but um, let's flip back and look so this is the next week, which I'm talking about the this week. <laughs> That's crazy, ain't it? I might have to wipe that out and put this week. We'll see. But anyway, here is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. This is... Oh, let me back y'all out. That wasn't hard, easy to see, was it? Let me go back let's do it like this again okay now i'll flip through again but i hope y'all enjoyed this and i will be back with y'all with another one just as soon as i can get caught up on some stuff but anyway um thank you for being with me thank you so much for my new subscribers it has just brightened my day brightened my week because my week was a little on the rough side so Thank you much. Love you guys. See you later. Bye.